Hello everybody, this is Pam with Tattered Paper and Lace, and I was going to work on a little bit of ephemera today and wanted to bring you along in case this might be something you hadn't thought of or didn't really know how to start and go about it, and so I wanted to bring you along in case it was something you were interested in seeing. I wanted to make some specimen um, cards, basically, but I wanted to make them out of envelopes so they could be a journaling card on the back. So I have here uh, this junk mail envelope that has a nice large window. I have some dried flowers here. I have a couple of other large window envelopes to the side here. And what I am going to do is make a journaling card like this. So, I wanted to bring you along in the process. <clears throat> so, we'll get started. I use an envelope like this, but I cut it down to this so that I have just a smaller version of the envelope and I open it up on three sides around the window so I can fold it open and lay my pieces in how I would like for them to be. And what I want to do with this one, and I'm just using, on this one I'm just using um, the security envelope, what the, the paper that's on the inside of the security envelope. And you'll see that these two are a different pattern. So I want to use this, and I want to make a little arrangement with these dried flowers over here. All of these came out of my yard last year. So they're, they're good and dry and ready to do something with. Uh, and so I'm going to use the background that's just like it is. <clears throat> so I will make my little flower arrangement by opening that up. And let's see if I can get these out. I don't know if I can get pick them up with this or not. It, it won't. So sometimes it will. So we're going to lay down the first piece, which is this one right here. And a little bit of it came off, so I'm just going to stick it right there so it looks like it didn't come off. I have to be very careful with these dried pleat pieces. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. I want to make sure it shows through my window. And this is going to be first. And then I'm going to take this. is from a totally different plant. I don't even... Oh, I think this was the Japanese maple. These, these were the beginning leaves of the Japanese maple that we have in our yard. And then this is from a, another Japanese maple tree, different kind. Because uh, these leaves are going to be red when they grow up. But these won't grow up. They're just where they are. So I'm going to do that. And then I have, uh, these are another couple of Japanese maple pieces. I'm going to wait on those. This is a dogwood blossom. I'm going to put that, oh wait, I think this is the wrong side. Hold on. Nope, oh, it's the right side. I'm going to put that right in the middle here. So I want it to look like it's just a little dried flower arrangement. I'm going to stick this here. And these are hydrangea blossoms. I don't know if you can see that good or not. These are hydrangea blossoms. So I'm just going to pop them in here too in various different places just to make a little dried, kind of a dried flower arrangement on my sheet here, on the background here. And we'll put this one right here. Kind of like that. And so you've got it placed there. And then you can just close this up and see how that's going to look um, through your window. I'm not quite pleased with that, so I need a to rearrange this a little bit. It likes to stick to your window, too. <laughs> we have static electricity going on here. Uh, update on my knee. I'm doing well. Um, was had was in physical therapy earlier today. I am doing very well. It's only been uh, it was two weeks out of surgery on Tuesday this week, and I'm doing well. I uh, hope all of you are doing well in whatever is going on in your life. We've got Easter coming up this weekend, 
So we'll be celebrating something there with some family or something. I'm not sure yet what we're supposed to do, what we're going to do. We may just go to church and come back home. Uh, I wanted this stem from this is the long stem here, and I wanted that to be kind of in the corner. So let's see. Now I need to move everything over just a little bit. Hope it doesn't static cling too much. It messes it up. Okay, I'm liking that a well, a little bit better. Not a lot. I don't know what I'm. I had pre prearranged this, and and I, and it was it was really nice and perfect. But I wanted to show you what I was doing, so I took it apart, and now I can't get it back exactly like I wanted it. But we'll just keep shifting it around and working on it, and see what we think. See how we think. Okay, I think I like that. Uh, no, I don't. It's looking a little too messy. It's not, it's just, it's just too messy. So let's take these off first. And let me rearrange that a little bit. I think I'm going to go ahead, and let me just show you how I do this. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these down because I'm pretty sure that's how I'm going to want those. So we'll take that aside. So we'll take this and I'm pretty sure that that's how I'm going to want that to go. So all I do, because this is going to be encapsulated, I will be sewing around it. So all I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue on the floral part of this. Well, and this is actually a leaf, not a flower. It's the blossom, if you will, of this Japanese here, rod. I'm just doing a little bit of glue down through um, the stem and all to glue this down and place it where I know I want it to be, which I think is about right there. Yes, that's good. So we're going to just glue that down. Works beautifully to do this. You, I don't put any, when I'm putting it inside of an envelope like this, I do not worry about doing any um, sealing it in or anything because it's already dried and this is going to be encased in this window envelope so it really doesn't need anything else to keep it in there. So now I'm just going to put this like it's coming off right here. I, I not, am not sure where it broke off from but this is where it's going and we'll just glue that in there and uh, you don't need much glue like I said it's going to be I'm really just doing enough glue to keep it um, just to make it be so it won't move around and then I want to put this in here and I'm not exactly sure this is where it, it, it gets a little bit interesting because I'm not sure how I had it well for one that's the right side of the leaf and this is a feather leaf Japanese magnolia, I think is what it's called. My husband is the one who plants all these things and knows what they are. That would not be me. <laughs> I don't dig in the dirt if I can at all help it. I do help cut grass though, uh, but I'm I'm just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do I'm not digging in the dirt. <laughs> I like the flowers though, so I love it that my husband likes to dig in the dirt because I like having the flowers. So let's try this here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I want this right here. So I'm gonna go stick this in there. Put me, oh yeah, I was even out of frame. Good grief, guys. I am just terrible at this, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll Eventually I'll get better. I get all involved in what I'm doing. But I want to put this, let's move this up a little bit, right in here. like that. Let's put that down. I really appreciate you coming and joining me and watching my process. I know that I want that one right there, so we're going to go ahead and stick it down. Wait, this is the side I want, so this is the glue side. This is from that uh, same tree. Their leaves are like a magnolia, like a not a magnolia, I'm sorry, 
like a maple tree, the shape of a maple tree, but they are red in the springtime. They're blood red. I have some of them. I just went and picked up, picked some, and they're drying. I put them in a big, old, heavy, thick book just between the pages with a big, fat rubber band around it uh, to dry. And that's how I dry my flowers. And so this time of year, everything is blooming. Well, not everything, some things. And so I go and <clears throat> I go shopping in my yard, picking up flowers. So I'll do this one. This is turning out very different than the other, than the other way, but I kind of am liking that. Maybe I won't use that dogwood blossom. Maybe I'll just do this. I think so. I think I will just do this. I liked having that white, but it just now it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, that's the better side. Or do I like that side? I like this side. We're going to do it on this side. So on these flowers, and I do these, I will do these on a page in a book. If I do it on a page in a book, I, um, I do seal it. Did I glue? I haven't glued that down yet. Ah, hold on. First things first. Have to glue this down. Um, so um, when I do these on a page, I use uh, Liquitex matte, Liquitex matte medium. Not not necessarily the gel medium. You could, but that's not necessarily what I use um, to put these down. And then I seal it with that. I, I glue it just like I'm doing this. But then I seal it with um, the gel, the matte medium, and it works great. It holds them well, and it just it works works very well. I've not had any trouble with any of them coming loose. Let me get a Kleenex here. Tissue. I like to use tissue to press these in and get the glue up. That might have seeped out. Okay, and now we'll get this one that I just glued a second ago. If I can get it back up. Come on. There we go. And put it, I'm going to put it right here. There we are. Let's see if I can use this too. I just kind of like that one in there as well. And this one under it. How would that be? How about that? I don't think I like this one in here anymore. I think I want this one to be down here. Like that. So I place them so it looks like they're all coming off the same stem. But of course, they're all different, so they're not. But that's where I'm going to put this one. And I'm just going to put some glue all around. Doesn't have to have a lot. Like I said, this is just to basically hold it in place because it is going to be inside this envelope because it's going to, and it's going to be permanently closed. So there won't be any, uh, any reason really to do anything else except just let it be. Now this has a little bit of a stem that I'm going to cut off. Use my little scissors that I'm going to cut off right here because I don't really want that stem. Okay and uh, there we go. Let's make that stay a little bit better. It's not wanting to stick. Okay so there there is our arrangement. If you can see, let's see if I can bring a little more light over without blinding you with the glare. Okay, I like that. So this is this is my little arrangement. And now what I'm going to do is I've got some Tracy Fox labels. Unfortunately, I don't have them cut out already because I'm not one of those people. Because the reason I don't is... Um, I don't like to search for the little bits. 
so I leave them and I will show you. I leave them like this in the sheet because then I can just scan the sheet and go, okay, let's see. I'm going to put whichever one I pick. Um, so I think we're gonna do this blue one right here. So then I'll just cut that one out of the sheet. And that way I don't have to, and I keep them in a file folder, and that way I don't have to thumb through and pick up all these little pieces and I don't have any ephemera holder uh, things like some people do. I would love to have one of the stamp books that you that people find sometimes in thrift shops. I've never ever run across one of those that, that are already like an ephemera holder. I would really, really like to have one of those or two of those. So I'm going to put this right here. Uh, maybe, maybe it isn't that one because I don't want to cover up any of that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know what I could do. Let's do this. I'll put it on the outside instead of underneath. And we'll just put it like that. Yes. That I like. Okay, so I'm done with what's going in on the inside. And I'm going to seal this up. I'm just going to put a bead of glue all the way around. And then just fold it up. I will I will sew it later because I do like to sew around these. You do not have to sew around these. You can just do it just like this. And it it doesn't matter what it is you have pressed. You can do it with whatever you want to. I have even pressed some weeds that you might not think you would want to do. You know what? I'm gonna stick a little bit of glue. Before I close this under this right here because it did not want to stick down right there and I just want that to be stuck a little bit. Come on. There you go. Um, and then I just press this closed and get the air out of it as much as I can. And there we have it. There we are. I like that. Now, before I put the label on, though, I am going to use some of my handy dandy book page over here. And I just use a page that I've been inking on and distressing on and whatever on. And I'll just, uh, like this one has a little gold sheen. I kind of like that. This was some painting I was doing. So we'll put that down and I just uh, I just run it around the edge. Just whatever I feel like. Uh, sometimes, you know, I just tear it and tear it and stick it. And you can use anything. You really like can, you can use scrapbooking paper. I like the uh, the torn edge of these things and so then I want to I want to this to be not that solid. I like to have a little different. I'm going to do it like this. And so that just kind of blends in. And I may or may not even cover up all the white. If I don't have it covered up, I will probably um, use and get my, oops, my gluing book here. If I don't, um, cover it all up, then I would ink it, and I might, and I'll show you, yes, I, I think that is what I will do. I will ink it, and, or I do a little stenciling on it, um, to not make it be so white, and so we'll, I don't mind it not being you know, th those words not being straight up and down like that because it's going backwards. But I don't mind that. I, I think variety is good. Change is good. Turning it this way and that is good. So I'm just going to basically collage around the outside of this envelope window. Just like this. And I may or may not... Um, 
ink around the edges. I'm, I'm really not going to so far. I haven't, and I don't necessarily think I want to. Mainly, I just want to kind of cover up the white. And yeah, this one goes this way. We're going to do that one that way. And um, make it not be so white and just have something a little more interesting. You also could just stencil around it. And I am going to do a little bit of stenciling on this. Um, but I really want to cover up the writing that's from the envelope is more or less what I want to do here. So that's, so that's why I am collaging around it as I am uh, because I don't want this writing necessarily to show. It would be okay. It could. As a matter of fact, I'm not liking that piece moved over there that far to the edge. So I'm going to switch it over a little bit and put it over here, and then I'll do some stenciling over that, and we'll see how that looks, because I don't really mind. I don't want you to be able to read it necessarily, but I don't really mind it being there. Um, so we've got that. I'm just gonna trim down this for now. I like to get a, a visual here. So that's good. I'm liking that. Liking that pretty good. Then let's get another piece going here. I just tear it and go, tear it and go. Not, I want something that's not quite so, that's not been inked so much. That's why I was inking things and I want it to not be, some of it to not be inked. Just for different. There, like that. We're gonna make this go a little bit like this. I don't like straight edges. I don't like, I like rounded corners more than not. Uh, it's really kind of weird. I don't know why I am like I am, but everybody has their <clears throat> preferences on things. So we just do what we do because we like it. I'll stick that right there. So basically, this is all I do. And then I, ha I will have me a, and then I'll put, I wouldn't have to because when that dries, that won't even show, but I probably will put uh, some, something on the back. It's got texture on it. Um, <clears throat> I will probably put something on the back. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna do this like this. Yes, tear it right there, do this like this. Yes. And so that's all I wanna do here is, is the, the uh, around the edge. And then I'm going to do some stenciling on this and I wanna show you what I wanna use for that. I did a, my thesaurus dictionary, the very grungy looking thesaurus dictionary cover that I did, the, end, the first thing in it was a window, window envelope. And I wanted to show you what I used as the stencil on that. So let me cut these things down. Okay, now let me get that out and show you what I'm going to stencil with. And it is this, which is a piece of drywall tape. And it's this mesh design. So I will take this. Well, see you know. I'll take this and I will distress or stencil with this just along that white edge. Just like that. Isn't that cool? And this has is a little sticky, so it will not uh, not move on you because it has a little bit of sticky 
which does wear out after a while, but in the meantime, it works great. And I don't want to do it all over because I don't really want to do it a whole lot over the book page. I want to really just do it where the envelope it, white is showing so that it has just a little bit around it. And then I'm going to ache around the edge of this. Let's cut this a little smoother. Ink around the edge. And there you have it. And that you don't have to do anything else. See, now I can put my label on, which I will just ink the white edge of it a little bit. And I'm using um, Fray Burlap to do that with. And then I'm going to put my label right here. I think right like that. Let's see if that's what I want. Yep. That's what I want. And that's all I want. I want it to just be kind of simple. Uh, I could, you could do any number of things else to this that you wanted. You could you could collage around the edge with different colors. Uh, with scrapbooking paper and make it be different colors. You could stencil it all around. Um, with different colors, you can do whatever suits your fancy as far as uh, the look goes. This is what I wanted to do with this. And there you have it. I love it. Okay, and I like the blue label with the blue flowers. <clears throat> so there is that one finished. And on this one, this was a, a Leland Cypress a little bit of a branch here. So I wrote Leland Cypress on the background paper and this is stamping up here, which I could have done up here, but I didn't necessarily need to. And then a blank label that I wrote a number on. So that's how I did that one. And this was a black envelope. So it was already black and then I stitched around it. So I will stitch around this one as well. This one I wanted to be a little bit different. I didn't necessarily want it to be so much a, a specimen per se as just a almost a floral arrangement. So I like that and I don't mind this sticking over the edge a little bit right there so that it's not just perfectly around there. And I have one other that I was going to do because I wanted to show you that you don't necessarily have to have an envelope that has the security pattern on it because this one is just a white envelope. I have already glued this as a piece of uh, file uh, ledger paper. So I just have some, let me show you. This is the ledger. This is the ledger paper I used. So I just cut out a piece. Um, I've got some ledger paper like this as well. I have, you know, those. these are the pale green. So on this, I did kind of want this to be a specimen. So I was going to put... So I, already, I just cut out a piece that would fit in the window. I wanted the numbers to show. Uh, and then I'm just going to place these in here, just these two. These are pansies. And I just wanted to place those two in here. And I did want this to be more of a specimen card look. So I'm going to put them, uh, you know, what I think is a nice arrangement. But I'm going to leave a little space for me to to um, write, uh, messy writing, I call it. <clears throat> Not that you can really read it, because I don't want it to really be read. I just want it to look like somebody had was making a collection of flowers, and this is one that they were doing. So for my background, because the envelope was white inside, I didn't want it to be white inside. That's why I put the... Um, um, ledger paper. I don't know why I have, have a hard time remembering to say ledger paper. And this is a pansy. And I am just going to um, glue the flower. I'm going to glue that petal down because it's folded over and I, it's dried now. So it, I don't think it'll flatten back out, but I don't need for it to. So I'm just going to put some glue on that. I'm just using art glitter glue. My favorite glue. That is my favorite glue. 
And I'm just going to put that right there. Make sure it's showing through the window. Yes, well, the and the paper on this is kind of giving me where it would show through the window well. What did I do with my tissue? I don't know. So we'll do it with this paper towel. Glue that down, and then I'm going to glue this one here kind of like they are part of the same. Uh, they're the same sort of pansy, but they're not, they were not part of the same flower, I don't think, or the same pot. Oh, this is almost like two. Huh, okay. So, could have been two, or it could have just been the petals overlaying. I don't know. But in any case, it's going to go right like that. And I should still be in the window nicely, yes. And then on this one, like I said, I, I'm going to do some messy writing. And so hopefully I can do that and not make a mess of it, even though it is messy writing. Because you just never know. So I'm just going to do uh, so I'm just going to put that little messy writing right there that says sort of says pansy number 420 uh, because I want it I do want it to look like a specimen piece like somebody is is collecting varieties or creating new varieties of um, pansies and this is number 420 because that's what I decided it would be uh, number 420 and I'm going to use these brown ones here and I think I'm going to use this number and oh I kind of like the oval one right here though it over here. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. I'm going to do, I'm just going to do stenciling on this one. Let me close it up. But that's all I'm going to do to the inside of that. Uh, you could just do some stamping, um, the, you know, the script, script stamp uh, on that, and that would look good. I've done that as well, as you saw on the other one. But this, I'm just going to close up and leave it like it is. And close it up. I will stitch around this one as well. Just like that. But instead of collaging around it with book pages, I am just going to stencil around it with this. And I don't really want to do the stenciling um, let me put the stopper in my glue. I don't really want to do the stenciling straight up and down necessarily. Um, I'm going to probably shift it around several times to give it different looks. The nice thing too about doing this is you know, I'm just, just daubing it through here. Is um, you can wipe it off of the window. Don't let it get too dry there. You can wipe it off of the window and you don't have it because I don't really want it on the window. So you can line it up or not if you want to not show where where your join line is. If you just kind of match it up there, it won't it won't show. And this I've used this over and over and over and over. It does, it's great. This quote unquote stencil. I love this thing. And I and so I have rolls of it. I have another portion of a roll. And uh I have a portion of a roll, which is where this came from. And uh you just this is sort of winding up being straight when I didn't necessarily mean for it to, but it's okay that it is. And so you can get that at any hardware store. Okay, see how that's looking? I like it. I like it. 
And then let me go down this last side and I will try to match this up best I can. Again, doesn't really matter. It's not going to really show so much. And there you have it. And that's it. So I'll ink around this. I hope everybody's having a good day and we'll have a happy Easter and a lovely weekend. Uh, I think it's going to rain here tomorrow, maybe. I'm hoping not. We need no more rain around here. Uh, let me pull out this label. And I could, let's see, what else could I use? I might could use a different label. So I'm liking that too. It's kind of specimen-like. Okay, I think I like that label. I think it'll look fine with it. So I'm going to cut that label out. It's a little bit longer, which I like. Gives a little more presence than the first one. And I decided to do a color because the only color in that is in the purple. So I'm just going to cut this out real quick. Ink around it really quick. And put it on and then we're done. So this doesn't take long. And you, you, you've, you know, flowers out of your yard. Some any kind of background. It could be scrapbooking paper as your background behind this if you don't want to use the the actual envelope pattern. Uh, so I'm going to put this right here, just like this. And there you have that. Um, so it's a very inexpensive way to make some ephemera. You also can put, you can put anything in the window you might want to put in the window as far as, uh, you know, if you don't want to do flowers, you can do a, a, a Tim Holtz bird or a butterfly or a, anything. You can put anything in there in the window that you might have that you want to use and it will look lovely. So just... You can even do more to the background if you even just used this white envelope background and stamped it with script. Uh, it would it would be perfect. So this is what I have. I appreciate you watching my channel, and I hope that you will subscribe and hit the bell so that you will get notifications when I do uh, another video. I have been trying to do one a week. I don't always get that accomplished, but I try to. And uh, update on my surgery. I'm doing well. It was two weeks uh, from surgery date Tuesday. It's past Tuesday, so I'm a little over two weeks. And I am doing well, and everything is going well. Physical therapy is going well. And uh, so I look forward to seeing you in the next. Let's see if you can see if I can get these in here so you can see them all. Uh, and not be blinded by the glare because you do have a little glare on those windows but that's okay there we go uh, so thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this little process video just wanted to give you an idea of something you can do and how to recycle some of the things you have at home I have other recycling ideas that I am going to do and think about and probably bring to you so if you will hit the bell subscribe hit the bell you'll get notifications of further videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice weekend and happy Easter. Bye.